How about leadership? Well, that's an important topic as well. And recently, FCA District 8 hosted an important leadership conference, but the information is definitely not just for those in the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Andy has more in today's OIO Faith on the Field segment. For two decades, Dan Webster led the largest student ministry in the country at Willow Creek Church just outside of Chicago. He could have never imagined God would take him there after his upbringing. I kind of went from one end of the social continuum as a high school sophomore to the other end of the social continuum. And uh, going from being 5 feet 5, 185 pounds to playing on a basketball team that uh, lost in a state final championship game. But uh, that was transformational for me because as a senior in high school, I came to faith and had a growing burden for why wasn't there some kind of ministry to students like me in high school that would have helped me understand who Christ is and what it is to have the center of your heart filled. So, um, you know, as a college student, I felt a sense of calling to do that. But after years of success and many changed lives, God brought new plans on the horizon for Webster. After I had spent pretty much 20 years in student ministry, I hit my midlife wall, a lot of people do, where I'm leading the largest student ministry in the country and I walked into the auditorium, I didn't want to be there anymore. And that was confusing for me because it didn't have anything to do with my love for Christ. It didn't have anything to do with my love for kids. I just went through this time, and a lot of people do, when what they once did gave them life. Now it felt like it was depleting me. So I spent a couple year kind of midlife time, uh, what I call kind of my PhD of the heart degree, where God taught me that what Henry Nouwen said was true, is that a courageous leader doesn't just blaze the trail into the future, a courageous leader blazes the trail into his or her own heart. And Webster's worried about the lack of leaders of the heart that he sees in our country today. When I talk about leadership, I talk about there being two lifelong works of leader development. One is the what I call the work of the work, one is the work of the heart. The work of the work is about every person getting clear concerning what is the work that has my name on it. And that has to do with your talents, your passions, it has to do with getting clear concerning the skills you need to develop in order to be successful and fruitful in your given vocation. And then there is the work of the heart, which has to do with integrity, and it has to do with character. And so my perception today is that people are doing decent at the work of the work. They're doing decent at understanding fundamentals and skill development and contributing on that level. I think most of the problems in our, uh, in our country that have to do with leadership have to do with the heart, the character, you know, the soul of a person. I don't know if we need another Harvard MBA or MIT PhD, who, people who are really, really smart. We need people who are whole and who can uh, make a contribution.